Hi, I'm Charlie from the Yoga Barn uh, here in lovely Ubud, Bali. It's a beautiful sunny day. The sky is blue. The sun is just going down over there. And if Jana pans the camera just a little bit to her left, <laughs> you'll see the, the fruits of our newest creation. Uh, this is our new studio. We've been about a year in building it. Uh, all the aesthetic a accolades go to my business partner, Made Gurnarta, and his lovely wife, Megan Poppenheim. Uh, Deck has always been in the recycled wood and antiques business. And so everything that's been built here at the Yoga Barn is all in Indonesian aesthetic, utilizing pretty much everything recycled wood and a lot of uh, antique elements from various islands around this archipelago. Uh, the studio here is, is quite large. Uh, the upper studio is 12 meters by 16. We had our grand opening party here just the other night. We had 149 mats laid out on the floor. It's a great multifunctional space for dance and music and various concerts and of course lots of yoga. Uh, just up there right now we have the School of Sacred Arts. They're commencing tomorrow their uh, fifth teacher training. They do that twice a year here. Um, and we're still a pretty we're still a pretty new place. Uh, we're only four years old. We opened our doors in December of 2007. And the really interesting thing about being here in Ubud is, is what's kind of manifested and transpired over the last five years. We've watched an incredible proliferation of like-minded businesses, symbiotic businesses, really fostering and building a spiritually based community here. It's, it's not just us. I mean, we're behind the Yoga Barn and we might be one of the largest and biggest uh, studios, but above and beyond that, there are many other studios that are popping up. There's a whole host of raw food cafes which are popping up. Uh, all different kinds of holistic modalities. Ubu is truly becoming a place for the spiritually inclined tourist to come and visit, uh, who maybe is in uh, or reaching a point of exploration in their lives. Uh, I think the interesting thing about here in, in building this place as a community center is that a lot of people are waking up in 2012 that the state of the planet and the sustainability of the planet on its present course is not viable and is not for the long term. So this rapacious greed of, of big corporations and money just to make money is not the long term answer. Uh, I think what a lot of people who come to Ubu define is uh, a way of thinking more about how they can be of greater service to this planet as a whole. A lot of people come to Ubud and if, if they start thinking the thoughts, wow, what is it that I'm actually putting into my body? What kind of food am I putting into my body? Um, what kind of thoughts am I putting into my head? How am I taking care of my body as the temple that it is? And then by extension, how am I treating my loved ones? How am I treating my family? How am I treating my larger circle of friends? How am I treating and living responsibly within my community? Uh, and then by extension, um, how am I treating and living on this planet as a whole? I think a lot of people who come to Ubu start to think of these questions. And then if they take any of that away, they can then go out into the world, hopefully live a simpler life, um, one of greater service onto others, and hopefully making this planet viable place to live for the generations to come. That's certainly uh, the ambition and goal of what we're doing here with the Yoga Barn. And we're honored and blessed to do so. And if you have any interest in coming to Bali, it's a magic island, a magic place, very soft, gentle, Hindu-based culture. It's an island with a lot of spirituality. It's a great island to come and help you to find and explore yourself. So encourage you to come and be a part of our family. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charlie. Let's get some of this gear.
Hi, Punu. Here is Punu. Hooray. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Okay.